Have you ever heard the sound of your own voice on a recording and thought, who's that? That doesn't sound like me. Well, you're not alone. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how Audiate can use AI to generate a script, read that script, translate that script into multiple languages, read it in multiple languages, and then produce captions when you're done. So let's get started. In Audiate, we're gonna click the Generate button. Under Generate, we have a few more options. Generate script, use AI to create a script. Generate audio, create audio using a script or create recording, which is you recording your script. Well, I already said, I don't wanna hear my own voice and I want Audiate to create the script for me. So under generate script, I'm gonna choose from my options that I want it to create a script. The type of script I'm gonna do is five tips for staying focused while working remote. So that's gonna be corporate and business and knowledge sharing, but there's all sorts of other categories you can look for to match the type of video you wanna make. And the style can be enthusiastic, formal, friendly, and a number of others. I'm gonna choose friendly for mine. I want my video to be about five tips for staying focused while working remote. So after I type that in, I can decide on the length of my script. Do I want it to be short, long, etc. This is gonna be a shorter video. And click generate script. And just like that, Audiate's generated a script for me. I'll read through it real quick to make sure this is actually the script I want, talking about the topic I want, and hitting on the main points that I think are important. And once you've done that, you can go back up to create and find generate audio. So rather than me reading it out loud, we're gonna have the AI read it for us. There are a number of presets, so you don't have to go through every individual voice and every individual characteristic to the voices. So you can choose a preset like a friendly feminine voice or a conversational masculine voice and go through and see which of those you like. So I'm gonna go into the English language options and choose from my drop down. let's try Roger's voice. Let's preview Roger's voice to see if we like that. Hello, my name is Roger. How can I help? To be honest, it's a little slow for me, so I could speed it up if I want to. Hello, my name is Roger. How can I help? And already that sounds more natural. So after you find the voice that you like, there's still a few ways that you can tweak it to make it your own but not really your own. When you're done and you've previewed the voice, click Generate Audio. Wow, that was fast. Now that it's generated the audio, all you have to do is click Play to preview your script. To stay focused while working remotely, it's crucial to create a dedicated workspace. It's that easy. I didn't have to record anything, I didn't have to write anything, and here we are already with a narration done and in place. After you've previewed it, if you're happy with the way it sounds and you're ready to be done, go up to Export, and you can export to file, creating an audio file for yourself, or you can choose export to Camtasia and send it over to Camtasia if you're ready to do more editing. Now, maybe you're speaking to multiple audiences from different areas. Maybe you want this script to be in French or German or Spanish. You can do that by going back up to the settings and clicking generate script. And instead of being under create, this time we're gonna go down to translate. And that button just popped up that says use current script. It's gonna take what it's already written and translate it to another language. And whether your audience is in German, English, or any of the other languages we support, like Dutch, French, Italian, Portuguese, or multiple dialects of Spanish, you can create a script and a narration in that language. So the language I'm gonna choose for this one is German, and I'm gonna click Use Current Script. It pulls my script in, and all I have to do is hit the Generate Script button. And just like that, it's translated it to German. It gives you this pop-up dialog box saying, do you want to generate audio from your script? And I do, so I hit generate audio. And now the same script we just made in English that we had a narration for in English has been written in German and will be recorded in German. Here's the voice, you can listen to it real quick. Um konzentriert zu bleiben, während man remote arbeitet, ist es entscheidend, einen dedizierten Arbeitsbereich zu schaffen. When you're done, again, Go up to export, export to file, or export to Camtasia. When you're all done with your script and you wanna send it over to Camtasia to do some video editing, you can also bring it along as captions for your video. When you click export to Camtasia, it's gonna give you a few more options. You can export to your media bin so that the clip lives there but isn't ready to be edited just yet, or put it right on your timeline. I'm gonna do that. Under the captioning dropdown, you can choose default captions, which are ADA compliant, or dynamic captions. Don't know what dynamic captions are? Let's check it out. As it's saving your project in Audiate, it's also sending it over to Camtasia, either opening a new project, or if you were already working in one, it's gonna drop it in there. Over in the properties panel, there's a couple of options, such as font or color. 
You can even move the captions around. Just like that, Audi8 helped you generate a script, record narration, translate that narration, and create dynamic captions inside Camtasia. Let us know in the comments below how you're gonna use Audi8's AI features to improve your video creation workflow. Thanks for watching.